Hey there, here is an overview of importing media into DVD Architect and burning a project. First we'll get rid of uh, the title. Double click to put our menu page there. Right click, insert media. Once my media is in there, I'm going to right click and I'm going to take my button style to text only. Now I'm going to right click on that, edit text. Play all. Now up here I'm going to go to my media, my highlight. That's where we could change um, what our icon looks like. I'm not going to do that, I'm actually going to leave it. Background media, if you wanted to replace it, you would just go this way and locate your clip. I'm not going to do that at this moment. If I wanted to insert a scene selection, I would right click on my media and insert scene selection. If I didn't have any chapters, I would double click on my media and then go within here into my main file and create my chapters that way. I would just do that as insert media chapter, mark them along, go back up to my main page, now right click on my media and say insert scene selection. I would say OK. Double click going into here, I would delete this and I could select all my media. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to do an image only. Click this button. Now within your chapters, you can also change your media if you wanted a still image to be behind here. And let's say you know, I mean, it wouldn't be this by any means, but you could change your properties within there as well. Okay, so I have my chapters. Now, if I wanted to insert any more media, I could just say insert media, and then maybe as a bloopers or who knows what it may be. Once I've done that, I want to preview and make sure that my media is in there. I have all the audio and everything sounds great which I know mine already does that, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I would definitely change this to say chapters. I previewed it. Everything worked. Now I go and make my DVD. I go into burn. I would pick a folder where I would want my location because I do not like to have to go into all of this information to find my project. So once I've done that, I would just say next. Now I'm at 92% here. I'm really close to being maximized. 90, what, 6 to 97%. You want to go in and optimize it. And you would do it here. You would say fit to disk. I don't necessarily need to do that, so it's not really um, going to do anything. But if it was, you know, 120% of the 4.7 gigabytes, it would bring it down and compress it um, to fit onto this DVD. Then I would just say next, and um, everything would be fine, and then it would burn. I would rename my title up here to something else. It would say there would be a disk here. I can have the disk eject when I'm done. Say finish. And then hopefully your DVD just burns beautifully. So quick rundown. Hopefully you can get this. Thanks for watching. <laughs>